The performance will be starting shortly. Please take your positions now. Hello, audience. Hello, Amelia. Today we are going to do an experiment. We have not rehearsed, have we, Amelia? Well, you know what I'm going to say, but you have never tried it out, right? It's hard to fool oneself, even when talking to oneself, I suppose. Today we are going to show the audience how to cry on cue. We have various methods we have not tried out before today, but tonight, for the first time, we will try to make Amelia cry on cue, okay? There are many methods that work for crying on cue, for the stage, TV, movies, performance art, etc. The first and most widely known would be the Stanislavski method of acting. Let's call this the equivalent of, I'm this then because I do yoga and eat right version of crying on cue. Amelia is going to try to invoke emotions from her past in order to make herself cry from a sense of a real emotion. She will emote right in front of our eyes. See? Those are real tears. <laughs> Next we have the staring into a bright light in order to make the eyes water technique. This can be easily attained because there are many overly bright lights to stare at on the stage and on the film sets, but it is harder for live performance art, which is what projectors are for. <laughs> See, those are real tears, but not emotional, just a physical response. Good job, Amelia. You can sit down now. Next, we move into the more violent forms directors use if an actor is not responding to the aforementioned techniques. First, it is suggested to slap an actor across the face hard before they enter their scene, where they need to cry. Especially effective if they are taken by surprise and then pushed on stage. Since I will not be pushing her on stage, let's just try slapping her. <laughs> slapping one unaware is difficult. But you can see, those are real tears. <laughs> Good job, Amelia. Next, we move on to the sudden occurrence of bad news technique. For a particularly difficult actor, a director can organize the telling of boring news to the actor to upset them in order to get them to cry, and then force them to go on stage. One can fire an actor or tell them that their job died. But since Amelia neither can be fired as she is not being paid, nor does she have a dog, we will skip this method for now. <laughs> Next, we will move on to the more obscure tricks of the trade. First, there is the Krylon Camophore Stick. This is a stiff, cream-based camophore that is hidden inside a lipstick tube. An actor can carry this in their pocket, and either while on stage or off, on camera or not, Suddenly pretend to put lipstick on and either wave the wand in front of their eyes or dot it under their eyes to produce tearing. If you have ever wondered why so many women cry in movies after putting makeup on, this may be why. It can also work in a lot of performances, especially those of a first-class theater, as one can fit a powder puff and this chemical lipstick into the act. Next, we have something easier to find from your local drugstore. Amelia will first pick up the bottle of artificial tears, a saving solution that can be purchased at any drugstore. One simply needs to place the bottle over one's eyes and pour the solution into the eyes, thus producing fake tears that look real. This is effective if one enters the stage while crying, or in film where one can cut before the use of the bottle and then start filming after. It is not, however, suggested for use for live performance art, as other fluids would be more interesting or have nicer bottles. <laughs> Next, we move on to the Krylon Artificial Sweat and Tears. This product can be applied to appear to be either sweat or tears. It lasts longer than the artificial tears made of saline and can leave one's face tear-stained in ways that the saline cannot. 
It does not go into the <laughs> The works best if applied by a makeup artist at the time. It is especially useful for durational performance art pieces, as one can appear to have been much more tired and haggard the next morning at a gallery, as if one had been performing all night when there was no audience presence. <laughs> that is all, Amelia. Thank you for crying on you.